Two of two, ChatGPT said. ChatGPT, I left my EV unplugged in the cold for weeks. Here's what happened. Hey, EV enthusiasts, before we dive into today's frosty adventure, make sure you're all set to stay connected. Smash that subscribe button, give this video a big thumbs up, and don't forget to leave a comment below. You're going to want to stick around until the very end for some surprising insights about EVs and cold weather. Let's get into it. The experiment. Over the holidays, my Kia EV6 spent nearly a month unplugged in a chilly garage during some brutally cold upstate New York weather. What happened to the battery range over this period was nothing short of fascinating. Let me paint the picture. Winters here in New York can be downright unforgiving. By Thanksgiving, temperatures were already plunging into the low 30s most days. And that was on a good day. Some days hit as low as 12 degrees Fahrenheit, while others briefly warmed up to 54 degrees Fahrenheit because weather loves to keep us guessing. Amid this icy backdrop, my wife and I decided to conduct a little experiment during our holiday travels. Our ambitious schedule included crisscrossing Texas to visit friends and family, followed by a trip to Las Vegas for CES 2025. That left my Kia EV6, a dual-motor AWD wind model, to brave the cold alone in our detached, unheated garage for 28 days, unplugged and untouched. Before we left on December 15th, we charged the EV6 to 80%, which showed 183 miles of range. This is a standard practice for EV owners to preserve long-term battery health. Then, we left for our adventures, with temperatures consistently dropping into EV-unfriendly levels. The result? When we returned on January 10th, I half expected to find the EV struggling with range loss, or worse, a dead 12-volt battery. But to my amazement, the car reported 180 miles of range remaining with 78% charge. When I double-checked for photographic proof a few minutes later, the range even bounced back to the original 183 miles. In essence, the battery lost virtually no range over the 28 days, maybe 2% at most. This result was even more impressive given the cold's well-known impact on lithium-ion batteries. Cold weather can slow the chemical reactions inside the cells, temporarily reducing their capacity and performance. Yet the EV6 shrugged it off like a champ. What does the owner's manual say? While my Kia EV6 handled the situation admirably, it's important to consult your owner's manual for long-term storage guidelines. Here's what my EV6 manual suggests. Charge the high-voltage battery once every three months to prevent discharge. If the charge drops too low, recharge immediately to avoid damage. Had I planned to leave the car parked for three months, I would have followed the manual's advice by plugging it into my home charge point level two charger scheduling periodic charges via the Kia smartphone app, and monitoring its status. Pro tips for EV storage in the cold. Plug in when possible. Many manufacturers, including Tesla, recommend leaving EVs plugged in for long-term storage. This allows the car to maintain optimal charge levels without intervention. Disable energy draining features. Tesla owners, for instance, can disable sentry mode to conserve energy. Know your model's specific needs. For example, Ford suggests storing a Mustang Mach-E unplugged at around 50% charge with the 12-volt battery disconnected if parked for more than 30 days. A reminder for gas-powered car owners. Leaving an internal combustion engine, IC, car sitting for weeks or months isn't without risks, either. 12-volt batteries can die, gasoline can evaporate, and fluids can degrade. Compared to my previous IC cars, the EV6 handled the extended downtime far better. No jump starts, no fuel issues, just smooth sailing. Final thoughts. If you're worried about leaving your EV unplugged in cold weather, don't be. As long as you follow your owner's manual and take basic precautions, your EV should perform just fine, even in harsh winter conditions. Got your own tips for cold weather EV storage or driving? Share them in the comments below. Thanks for joining me on this frosty EV adventure. If you found today's insights valuable, make sure you're subscribed, tap that like button, and let us know what you think. Keep those batteries charged and those EV dreams alive. See you in the next video.